Yo, welcome to the BTE Podcast. It's your boy, Snacks. What's up, man? It's your boy, Checkmate. Welcome back. Assalamu alaikum to all. This is another all-new page to the chapter of this new book, man. Today, we come live with societal change. If you didn't know, now you know. I know you read the the red, the red, the uh, the title of this. Yeah. Now you got the name of it live in effect, man. Yeah. Let's get into it then. Hey, you, you say societal change. What that mean? What that Sir, fuck? that means the shift that we, we we see every day in society. Ooh, 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 we got some bars today. We we some we some rappers. Somebody signed us. Yeah, today, man. I, I I wanted to start off with a question to you, and that was, what is the significance of your name, Snacks, brother? Snacks, man, bro. Let me tell you about my name, bro. Real talk. I got snacks from in high school. Let me tell you the background story. Right? I was in high school, we were playing ball. We had a vending machine, so you walk into the uh, weight room, right? Cool. Or the field house, I should say. Walk into the field house. You got you bust, you bust a right, laundry room, vending machine. Right. All right, so cool. Before every practice and every game, I always had me a couple of dollars, you know what I'm saying? I used to, you know what I'm saying? I used to flip, you feel me? Flip them Starbucks, you know what I'm saying? Sour Patch Kid. Right. The right. milk, the chips, all that. So crazy, right? Give me a dollar, uh, put it in the machine. I'll give me some oven baked chips. Try to be healthy. You from oven baked barbecue chip. Right. You can't go wrong. Can't go. Wrong. They say 60% less fat. I taste it. I taste <laughs> the bacon. <laughs> I taste so, it and I'm not faking. Come on, bro. So boom, right? I used to always get two of them. My coach saw me one day every time. And you know, it was kind of like a regular. So he said, damn, you always getting you always getting some food from there. He said, you know, I'll start calling your ass snacks. Mm. I said, cool. Now, at first, I didn't really think that was going to last. I, honestly, I did not think. Because he was like, I think he said broad snacks at first. Yeah. I was like, that don't sound like a, a cool. Who's going to say broad snacks? They right, right, Broad right. snacks. Come here. Like, I was going to be a coach. So, I ended up taking um the broad snacks part. And I think people thought the same way. So I'm not calling this man broad snacks. So, they just start saying, what's well, simpler? Snacks. Yeah. So, they start saying, they just start calling me snacks. But at first, people used to spell it with like a regular S-N-A-C-K-S. Right. But I said, no, I'm going to make my stuff unique. Something that's new to me. So I said, snacks with two X's. Right. You feel me? Because I just felt like it just made more sense like that. Then it's also my last name is Broad Nats. So you place a D with an S in that, and then you got snacks. Right. So really, my last name was a real simple part of it. But then I started to take that name. I started really to run with it. Right. And I realized it's a lot easier. It's an icebreaker of a conversation. When I say, what's your name? You give me your name. Then I say, what's mine? And I say, snacks. Depending on who you are. Uh, if you're an older person, I say my name Richard because you're an old person not calling you snacks. You're right. not doing it. But for um, for the purpose of like my peers and even my professors at all my colleges call right. me snacks because it's more, it's it's a lighter name. It's not as it's not as serious, not as formal. You're able to just be casual with me, and it, it, it puts everybody at ease, honestly. Right. So that was really my whole significance of snacks, and I ran with it. Ever since then, people just mess with it. And to this day, and unless people, you know, listen to the podcast, even if people do listen to the podcast, they still call me snack. But to this day, some people at my old school and my new school don't know my real name. Right. Uh, I told people a story how my name became Snacks. And yeah, they believe it. You know what I'm saying? My mom had a kid. You know what I'm saying? Eat snacks all the time. Yeah, it was a crazy, <laughs> yeah, it was a crazy yeah, story, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, But that's my significance. Ain't nothing really too crazy. Just something simple. And it makes people feel, like I said, more at ease. That's, right. that's the really, now, that's my biggest selling factor. It pisses everybody at ease. And it's easier to remember. Right. You say, Richard, hey, what? What is it? What was your name again, sir? Now, if I say snacks, hey, oh, I know that. That's snacks. Yeah, something unique. Yeah. Bring something different to the table. For sure, for sure. Decidal change though, bro. If you don't mind, I'm go ahead. You feel me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Actually, question for you, right? Because we talked about it, not really, but kind of put it on your mind. Just throw it out there, right? Man, what makes like trends trendy? Like that's something that I never understood, and I want to get your perspective. Like what, who, what, when, where did somebody say this is now a trend? This is cool. Everybody go do it. Uh. I mean, I'll just say it's, it's whatever or whoever's popular at the moment. I mean, or whoever, whoever makes something that sounds like it's different. I wouldn't say per se it's, it's, it's something. I mean, because definitely the people that's popular makes it trendy. Yeah. Because if, if me and you wear Goodwill clothes and then the next man, like, like, get Roddy or, or rappers to start wearing Goodwill clothes. Not everybody's gonna start going to Goodwill. Goodwill's a new trendy thing to do. Yeah. You hit that because, man, that's one thing for real. Like, I remember back when we was in school, it was Elite Sign. 
You right. you you had the you had the bread, you had the elite sock. And now you got you know, you got people just wearing regular man, Walmart, me. Yeah. <laughs> Hang socks, no brand, no nothing. Just throwing some socks and keep your feet warm. So like that's really my big question. Like when did we come from if you if you was a thrift, if you was a thrifter, yeah, that's the that's the name for it now. That's yeah, how yeah. that's how I know it really became trendy. Now you call it thrifter. Oh my goodness, you're amazing. Now if you if, if people talk about you and say, Oh, I don't buy my clothes goodwill, now they call you stupid. Like, oh man, you're you're paying full price for this, man. You're dumb. It goodwill been a thing. Right. <laughs> These gar garage sales been a thing. So I'm trying to really I'm lost on when it when is my say it's cool? And why did you even have to be you know when it became cool? Yeah. People, people start making YouTube videos about it. That's when thrift shopping became trendy and cool. Because I, I be seeing people posting in the in the thrift stores. Like it's normal to to everybody now because you can you can put it out there and it's not just. Man. But again, like I guess that's really what I'm trying to get into. Like it doesn't I understand, but I don't comprehend it. Like it's been here. Right. There, there's not, there's no different. Right. The same stuff you was finding. Like man, I was, I can really say, you know, what I'm saying, shout out to my dukes, my sister, and all of them for putting me on before right. everyone ever put on. But thrifting was was fashion. Like right. a lot of the stuff I wore to school yeah. was from Goodwill, gang. You wouldn't tell. Fresh right. polo off the lot. Five dollars, yeah. looking good in a, you know what I'm saying, the business casual fit. Yeah. Got the whole suit for twenty. Yeah. Good suit too, man. Good suits. You good suit, gang. Good suits. You feel me? I ain't, I ain't even need to be tailored. You, you got the saying? funeral joints or the, or the prom joints or the business joints. Well, you see, look right. The my prom fit that was that was stretched it. Uh, no, I'm talking about the, the suit that you got from the thrift. Was it a was it a funeral type suit? Was it a prom type suit? Ah, was nah, it like a nah, business nah, type nah, type nah, 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 nah. That was a suit. You trying to close a business deal? Okay, okay, you okay. Come, you put you put that joint on with the top. You know, so you got to put the. I didn't have no regular top. Yeah. I always had like those Snoopy or uh, NBA yeah, football, yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. You feel me? So some of you know, so you wild. Look like a, you look like a car salesman. Yeah, bro. Okay, you, okay. you know, you know the boy uh, on, on a commercial when they say uh, you can't do nothing without a car salesman because yeah. they got they trying to shit on Carvana. Yeah. yeah, but that was me. I was out there really trying to. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, how's it going today, sir? And the business casuals, now nah, all the polos. Yeah, don't 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 get confused, bro. The ones that that, that look like make me look good, ripped up top. You yeah. know, so I've been like like I've been pumping. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, that was all from Goodwill. See, I never had the luxury of finding polos at the thrift store, but I did get the crispy. Polos from Macy's and stuff, but man. I never found no no good no good polo. Man. You ain't people on the feet, man. From Walmart, gang. I'm telling you, bro. People oh yeah, sleeping. for sure, for sure. Like, people be sleeping on a lot of this stuff, bro. So I was like, like I said, I never, but again, I never did understand where was the what was the wrong, what was the what's the bad part of this, right? You're you're sitting here telling me that I'm weird for for not for not paying full price, right? Like I, I didn't think I didn't think I was weird for being smart with money. You wonder how rich people stay rich. I mean, they're probably getting the stuff that y'all see them wear. And what I mean, uh, let me not say rich. I'm, I'm gonna say wealthy people. Cause, right. I mean, you want to say and be rich. I mean, if, if nowadays I'm rich considering our generation. Ooh, yeah, rich is rich coming go. Like, come on now. But if you're wealthy, people don't just say and they they stack their bread up. But like I said, page one, wealth. You have to have the knowledge first. I mean, mm. for for generational wealth. Mm, so okay. they, they they send that knowledge down and you feel me clothes aren't what needs to be spent money on vacations you feel me vacations are important that's a very important thing with the people I can I can say that I've realized and I've noticed so right so I'm I again I, I keep stressing that because to me I don't think I ever will comprehend it because right. it was something that I've been doing so I guess it's like when you've been doing something it's kind of like eh like right. it's not really groundbreaking. Like I'm pretty sure when what what was it cool? I'm pretty sure when when, when you was hooping game and, and you was out here really pulling up the shop, going to the gym, woo woo, and, and and say you've been you've been doing the Euro stuff before the Euro stuff even was thing. You've been you've been uh, Euro right. all the time. Right, right. And now now that boy James Hart come out here doing the Euro stuff and everybody say oh, I got I'm gonna do I got add the Euro stuff to my game. So you was like man, I, I've been had that in the Duffy. That, 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 that's that's been there since day one. Right. You know, so ain't nothing really new. Now it's like. Y'all, are, y'all are weird. I, I ain't gonna say weird, but y'all, y'all are following somebody else that has been there. Like, 
I, I call it bots and uh, different things like that because you're allowing somebody else to, to even if you felt like in your heart of hearts you you been wearing Goodwill, right? Because I again I was that person. Right. That's where I got this from. Uh, you know, dude's got it from me. I know my I know what I got it from. I got it from Goodwill. I got right. it from Ross. I got it from Marshalls. I got it from Payless. I got it from City Trend. Yeah, right. bro, yeah. People don't know about City Trend. Bro. City right. Trend. <laughs> City Train even still around though? I haven't seen City Train. Man. I think they got shut down, Brian. Go <laughs> <laughs> Last thing I got from City Train was like some Coogee stuff. For real. Hey, for real, for the real. Cool, you talking the Coogee shorts with the... Nah, I had the Coogee. I had the Coogee shirt and the Coogee hat, but my Coogee hat got lost when I was in the go-kart. It flew off. Nah, I had the um uh, what was it? the FUBUs. Oh, the, the FUBU, but it looked like Jordans. They were called the Jordan ones. I yeah. couldn't get busy with those, bro. Couldn't get busy with those. But boom, since I asked you about your man, why do you think? Cause you know, back in the old times, they back in 07? No, I'm saying like, like the 30s, 40s. Ah, okay. they I used, a lot back then. They used names differently than we use. We use I mean, female call herself honey. Everybody gonna call her honey. Yeah. I mean, you go buy snacks. Everybody's gonna call you snacks. Why do you think the, the the way that we address each other and the way that we use names and aliases? Why do you think it's, it it has evolved? I say it evolved because it was. Somebody was, and just like, just how I'm doing it, everybody's trying to do it. And we always say, it, you try to find a unique factor. And it was such, it was in such a time where if you was unique, like this, this like the Salem witch trial. Right. That, they, they weren't witches, but you know, that was their unique factor or anything that, not even just the Salem witch trial, I used that as them because that was like a unique thing for them. Right. But everybody that was, that had some different, you was seen as an outcast. Right. Like, why are you, why are you like that? You know, so it was like, man. So you almost would look down upon for right. being different, and you would backlash for it. Like you, you didn't probably do that. Like left hand people, you would you would get beat to use your right hand because right. being left handed was weird. You or you, that's not normal. That's not the norm. Why right. are you doing that? Go be like everybody else. Right. You know, go do a nine to five. Be an entrepreneur is just now becoming trendy because I don't know why. That's a whole other thing. Why right. would that become trendy? But entrepreneurship been there. It's it just something like that. So I say a name was trying to show yourself and how you feel. Right. Like it was funny and like with me snacks, like I said at first, it was just something that I, it was cool, right? Something different from my name. Right. Yeah, I wanted to be something different. I didn't want to be just my name and that was it. I right. wanted to, you know what I'm saying? There's a, there's a lot of Richards. Mm-hmm. You feel me? This world is a lot of Richards. But I want something different, something to make me feel like you know I was unique. I know if you call this name, I, not two people looking back. Right. If, if you say snacks and another person looking back, yeah, you're just fat. <laughs> nah, but you know it's some. I feel like with with names and different aliases, you want to be seen as who you are. Right. And I believe that snacks is a is a embodiment of who I am. Which at the end of the day, I like food. I like to eat. I like to snack all the time. Snacks fits me. It suits my characteristic. It's it's funny. It's goofy. It's, right. it's informal, and that's what I am. I, I'm a I'm a goofy person. I'm a funny person. So I feel like your name shows shows who you are. If right. someone wants to be called Honey, they probably got the like a nickname is derived from your characteristics. Right. You know, if 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 I call if I call I call one dude Palomalu. Don't know his real name, bro. Can't fake it up. Yeah. Don't know his real name. But call him Palomalu because he got wavy hair just like Palomalu. That makes sense to me. You know? Like, that's just something that, that suit. And it makes people easier, too. Right. It's, it's like, you don't want to be... I, it's not, it's not, I don't see that disrespectful, but some people would take it if I cut, hey, hey, man, hey, dude, boy, miss, excuse me. Like, they'll take it some other way. If you right. say, excuse me, miss, she could probably think you try to holler at her. She's not even going to know you. But you don't know her name, so you don't want to say, hey, hey, your mom, that's just cat calling now. So... Right. It's trying to find a better way to talk to somebody, confront somebody, and bring them a part of it. So, I feel like the name kind of part went into it, and it was like that. You feel me? But, speaking about, like, the names and everything else, I get... It's something... Yeah, I'm just gonna gonna keep saying unique. That's where the aliases come from. Each one, you, you get to meet a new person and say it like that. But off the names, I had another question though. We was talking about what made it trendy, right? right. And all these different things. Now everybody want to be thrifters. Who made these challenges? The newest one is the crate challenge. I don't even know what a crate challenge is. 
Man, bro, see now look. That's how you know how, how, how the tune I am. You see now everybody finna not everybody finna say you're old. And, right. And they don't even know how old you are. But now I'm deuce deuce, man. <laughs> I'm deuce deuce. I ain't that old. See, dog, and you forward to them now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I just learned about it and come out of school did it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even go so outside. So what is it? So basically you you know the milk carton we had back way back when in 07 elementary school, you yeah. got all the milks. All right, they took a lot of those. I don't know how to, I think you stack it up all the way high to seven. So it was like one, then two crates, then the next one, three crates. Right. And you're walking all the way up. I, I want to say it's seven or six. I don't know what the heck it is. But you could try to walk away up and walk back down to the other side without falling. Right. Yeah, bro. Uh, again, I don't know who created this. I don't know who, who freaking said this is a logical thing, right? Right. But, but here, here's what blows my mind. All right, stick with me. You're telling me you do the crate job, okay? You stack the crates all the way to the seven, you walk down. Okay, the first person did it, they fell. Right. Okay, now you keep going on throughout the throughout the days, because this is a, I don't know how long, I don't know if it's still a trend no more. Actually, I haven't seen anything about it, so maybe it is dead now. But you go on, you go on, you go on, right, throughout the day, and then you keep seeing people fall. Right. Seriously hurt themselves. I'm talking about people going to the emergency room. Yeah. Newsflash, your insurance not covering that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> your insurance not covering stupidity. Because that, that doesn't, why, why am I putting my life at risk? That, right. That's unnecessary. But here's what shocked me. Instead of us, right? Now, I can't get too mad. We evolved. Right. So people said, huh, people are getting hurt from this. People are breaking their backs and, and, and necks and falling in all different types of places. Right. So you know what they did instead of not doing it? They got spotters. Right. <laughs> they got people on the side of you while you're doing the crate challenge. So if you fall, they catch you so you don't hurt yourself. Right. I mean, the question isn't, who, but it's why. For me, why is it trendy? Yeah. Because it's trendy because people want to feel included. That's a way of, you know, I don't like to talk down on people, but followers. That's how the followers feel included. Nobody who, who know, do you know who, who started it? So nobody knows the leader. They just know all the followers and all the, all the, all the bloopers. For me, but it's, it's just a way of, of feeling inclusion because you probably don't feel that in everyday life. You're, you're online making funny videos or, or stupid videos or whatever is is your way of being included in society. Gee, I I heard you. I heard you. 110%. I'm not following you to hurt myself. No, I'm saying that's... that's <laughs> we're, I'm not saying we're those people. I'm yeah. saying that that's probably the way that the people think is that this is funny. I might, I might get followers. I'm going to get views. For me, I'm, I'm a, a lame dork in real life. But online, I can be this person that's funny because I do stupid stuff. Just like we're 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 regular dudes in everyday life, but yeah. we're on a podcast talking. And in a year, we may be these people that's going from place to place talking because people want to hear us talk. Yeah, that's not who we are t- typically every day. We don't go out and go to the store and talk in front of everybody to be heard. It's just is. It's, it's different world. Respectable, respectable. But it's like not even just that. It's so many different challenges. It was like right. that that you know, you asked the why then. Bro, I did the salt challenge when I was a kid. Stupid. Bro, what's, what's the salt challenge? Put as a bunch of salt in in a, in a cup or a teaspoon or whatever you want to do and try to swallow it up. I did, I did it. It's on YouTube. I'm not going. Uh, 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 well, yeah, yeah I'm not doing that <laughs> because that was embarrassing. I was stupid. So yeah, we just gonna. How about yeah, the I cinnamon challenge? That was stupid too. It was basically the same thing. That's, yeah, I'm not not. That was that's not cool. That ain't cool at all. Hey, hey, that's just thought of it, bro. Oh, hey, For, that's that's exactly. Bro, was, my mouth was bleeding, bro. With all that salt, for real, for real. It wasn't that wasn't cool. But yeah, boom. Hey, you, yeah. Said, you said challenges, man. What do you? How do you think the 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 societal changes with holidays because my opinion is that people are starting to realize that holidays aren't what they seem man because a holiday doesn't feel like a holiday like Christmas didn't feel like Christmas this year or, or should I say last year but the last Christmas that just passed didn't feel like Christmas to me yeah and so I'm trying to I want to figure out what what do you think how do you think that people are evolving in society to to where things are starting to feel different man what I I would say this it's the people we're around. Like right. I feel like to kids, Christmas felt like Christmas. Right. They had presents underneath the tree. They open the they open the present. Everybody at school is talking about Christmas. The the teachers are, are decorating the, the right. halls and everything. It's Christmas feeling. We're older now. Right. So we know the behind the scenes of Christmas. Yeah. 
we know what's going on. We we know who's going down the chimney and who's not. Right. We know who what where, where this tree came from and where these presents come from. We know who wrapped them. Right. You know, so it's like we want to be kids in a little bit, in a little sense, but we're not. But I would say the reason why I really didn't feel like Christmas because even though I I enjoyed it. Right. I didn't get it. Well, I lied. I most definitely did. Right. But I wasn't the the, the main gift. Receiver? There we go. I don't was I wasn't the person receiving all of them, but it was nice for me to see the smile on their face and then laugh and enjoy right. that part. You know, like so but the reason why I, I to answer your question why I didn't feel like Christmas was because now you're you're understanding what it really is. You understand the behind the scenes part. Everything is cool until you see man, it prime example. Whenever I saw a dog in a movie, I was like, bro, this is a lot that dog. Yeah. This dog is listening, it's running, it's saving people. When I see the behind the scenes, a person with, with, with freaking dots all over him. Yeah. Now I'm tight. Come thinking this really a dog. And now I'm looking at this dude petting another man and, it, and it's underneath his chin. Like, yeah. <laughs> what's going on? Bro, that threw yeah, me. Cool. That threw me all the way I mean, off. For me, not for me, Christmas wasn't Christmas because I this year was the first year I actually knew what the, the the real idea behind Christmas was and what it actually stands for. Hmm. It's not about what, what we've been told. Because it was a quote unquote pagan holiday that dudes would go to these secret places and, and have sex with each other and stuff like that is is weird. Christmas was before before well, they st- they start celebrating Christmas before Jesus was even born. So it's not about him being his birthday and all this because nobody knows when his birthday is. He was born in the hot and he Christmas is normally around cold time. But yeah, I don't I ain't mean to ruin Christmas for you and the idea. But yeah, it was it was celebrating dudes having sex with each other and stuff like that. If you want to look it up, you can look. It's, it's different than our idea of, of Christmas. Man, bro. And as as a Muslim, man, there is no Christmas in our in our calendar, so that's another reason why. Yeah, I mean, but most definitely can you know the peacefulness and yeah. involving everybody. So you can most definitely I wouldn't call it not nah, guess not celebrating, but it's enjoying another person's right, 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 festivities right, right. and everything. But man, yeah, that's why I didn't know that. So look at that. Like I said, you learn something new every day. Cause man, that's wild. Cause now I'm looking at you like, yo, what were you doing? So now, now I'm looking at the, what were you really, what are you about? But it's, there's a lot of stuff that we don't really know about. Yeah. And that if, if, if I said some facts about some stuff and where, where names came from, going back to the names thing, I'm not going to say, cause that's just, that, that's too wise. Yeah. But certain names that we have aren't what we believe they are. Right. A lot of the names, if you look at the roots of it, are slave you know, names. Yeah, bro. And that and that's really why a lot of people, a lot of Muslim, Muslims changed their name because they didn't want to have slave that names. Was my, that was my reason when I was, back to when I was a kid. Yeah, so it was, it's wild. It's yeah. most definitely a wild thing, but that Christmas, I don't think you understand, that Christmas done threw me off a loop. Now I'm looking at everybody celebrate Christmas. So now I got to hold up. Now I'm looking this up. When was Christmas invented? Like, yeah, this was before before he was born. Was Christmas first celebrated or created? Christmas was celebrated December twenty fifth, three hundred thirty six A.D. So what were you doing December twenty fifth, three hundred thirty five A.D.? But you gotta realize the time. I think the time went backwards. Or did it go? That, time is that, another that, illusion. That, I don't. Yeah, know. That, it's it's crazy. It's oh. definitely crazy. But. The way that they, they they mark it off was sometime it goes backwards and other it goes. I don't really know. I'm not it's, into us. Yeah, bro. It's, I think AD is after death, right? And then the CD is before death or before like, Christ. Oh wow. You see, but I think that's what it. I think after death before Christ. I think so. I don't know. Somebody let us know if if, if you're if you're knowledgeable on, on the time and and everything. You know, most definitely let that be known. That wow again, bro. That Christmas. but you can hey in the comments, please tell me if I'm wrong. If you actually search it up, it was it was it was different than what we were taught to, to believe. Cause I, it threw me off when I when I when I understood. I'm like, this really was happening. We're celebrating something that not really what it seemed. Yo, and then now that question is now the question resides is who made it to this? Like who made right. it pop? Because a lot of the things that we are taught is that's a whole nother topic. But a lot of things we're taught aren't the, isn't the truth behind. Right. The, the, the history of the world and the history of certain things like Columbus and right. 
It's a lot. It's it's a whole lot of stuff that, like I said, that's why we always say ask questions because you don't know the true meaning behind it. Like, even though you say this is, oh, this is the truth, when you really dive into it, a lot of the songs we listen to it are samples from real older songs. I know a couple of J. Cole songs that are, are slave beats that right. he just slowed down or slave songs that he slowed down. Right. So it's, it's crazy to see, like, the real roots behind it and all that. Oh man, bro! Like I'm really trying to keep this going, but my you know now I can't even remember, imagine that. Cri- <laughs> like, yo, bro, am I the only one, y'all, that that crimping just threw me off for a loop, or am I? I mean, I didn't. I, I should. I probably shouldn't have told you because now that's how you're gonna be thinking about it. But like now I'm just looking at people like, yo, bro, what's up? What's up, with y'all? Yeah, I mean, it's it's crazy, but it's true. You can't. But I mean, it's, yeah, hey, the truth ain't never been a wrong thing. But we're talking about the Christian thing going off of that, right? Right. Or oh, we're talking about the standards, right? And, and people's standards are dropping. And this is what I mean because of the social media. This is why I personally took that cleanse for social media. Because right. I really saw what was going on and what the truth behind social media. Social media was another form of enslavement. Right. Where it's, it's modern day slavery, if we want to be real. Our time, we, we our iPhones have screen time. I think it's every Sunday they show you what you did on your screen yeah. for the whole time. 15 and hours a day. Come on, bro. Once like, I've seen that before, I'm like, bro, I gotta stop. <laughs> Issa, I gotta get off. Must man. stop. Because I... I can't. What my? I think my high was like nine. Yeah. Like like nine or ten. And you think about that. Ten hours of my day was looking at this screen. Yeah. No way. It's more time than you get sleep. But ten hours of my day was looking at this screen. So then once I got to social media, my stuff went down. It's like an hour. Yeah. I think the max in uh, two months, the most I had of screen time was probably three hours. But what did you do with the time that you wasn't on the screen? That's the question. Because you could. You, did you did you did you go from being unproductive to being productive, or did you just trade one unproductive thing to another unproductive thing? Honestly, it was a little bit of both. Like well, what I mean by a little bit of both, but most definitely, I, I wasn't sitting here, I wasn't praying all that all those extra hours. Right. I wasn't I wasn't reading the Quran all those extra hours. I wasn't doing homework all those extra hours. Right, right, right. I most definitely was on the three hours I was on the phone. It was watching Netflix or YouTube. Some ed- some educational videos on YouTube, some of them for entertainment purposes. Right. And then the other part with me watching anime, I'm a big anime fan. And which is another thing about trend, bro. Anime. Man, people sat here and hate anime. Right. Say you was, they called you a weirdo. They called you a nerd. They called you everything if you watched anime. And now people wanna watch anime. But it's I feel like everything roots to be it roots to social media. Because it's not it was never weird. It was just the people you were around. It was rarely people that watched it, but now everybody that has ever watched it can, can communicate in one place. It's not it's a, the community's being being I guess known now. Expanded. Uh, I, I mean, for me, everybody that watch, watched anime still watches, and the people that didn't watch it don't watch it. But you, I mean, you could say it's expanded because because the people I thought, or I guess I'll be my 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 fault for assuming which right. I got a topic of assumption because I thought you didn't watch anime. Or I thought these people didn't watch anime. Right. And so they did. I'm like, oh, shit. Well, look at that. Wait a minute, you watch. Now, when you get to that, and then you got the real mainstream, which is like, say, like with artists or rappers, or they'd be like, oh, do you, who's your favorite artist? Or who, 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 anything like that. If you ever say favorite, and that's not really their favorite, but they everybody that said it, right. they'll pick the name, top song. Like, you know, people be like, oh, do you know Nipsey also? Yeah. And if you ask them who Nipsey also, they're going to say right to the middle. I'm going to tell them about right. it because the most. No one saw him before he passed away. R.I.P. Nip, you know. So <laughs> stuff like that is something else. Like um, being accepting of it and being another thing. Cause like right. I said, with the anime, people like I said thought you were weird. But now when you watch anime, you look at the mainstream anime. They're like, oh, I watch Naruto and I watch Dragon Ball Z, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. And I'm not saying this is to be cool. I, I'm not saying it to be right. different. But I mean, I watch all animes. Like I'm, I, I can say I watch anime. Right. I'll watch the anime that nobody ever heard of, but they be fire. Yeah. Rise of the Shield Hero, fire. Black Clover, fire. This is a real question. Is Boondocks an anime? Yeah. Yeah. Because some people say it's cartoon, some people say it's anime, but... What's the difference? That's a good question. One's American-made, one's not. So, But even American-made anime is looks anime. the same as... as yeah, and it seems the same, but... Exactly. So again, we're now now we're debating, saying you just want to take some, right. which which is what America really is built off of, taking stuff and calling their own. Right. I mean, you want to take people's land and then you know say that, that man I found the land. Right. But I mean, if I did that now, I'm going to jail. Most definitely. But you 
did the trespassing. same thing. <laughs> you, but you did the same thing. You're, and I'm not killing people. Come on, bro. I'm just, you know, this is my land. But, you know, if I do that, it's, it's a whole problem. So that's really like what, like I said, the trending part right. came on. And I just never understood that part where people want to try to jump on from one ship to another. And when I... And going backwards, when we was talking about the anime stuff, but when I say the standards are dropping right. for a lot of people, I feel like there's standards that, and women and men and people in general are dropping. Like, a lot of standards, like, when we always say standards are moral and principles, right? right. If, like, if you want to stand on those, but people's standards are alarming because of social media. Right. You'll look at it, and you're like, ah, man. Like I said earlier, I looked on, online, and I really thought one time, before I did the social media clip, I'm like, yo, bro, this man's 19. Got a hotel, yeah, car, everything. Then you really start seeing the behind the scenes of it. People are like, oh, he really don't have this. This is fake money. He rented this house. He, he don't own this. It's just a price. This and stuff. Right. You know. So you start really seeing the truth behind it. But it's the image that you're portraying. You're right. looking at that and you're like, man, this person is younger than me doing it, or this person and got this and that. So you really get into like a, a comparing mindset, right? Where I am comparing myself to you, right? You're comparing yourself to them, and, and it's not like that, because everybody walks a different path. Right. Everybody does different things. Right. So, I'm doing like I, like I said, bro. If I act as anyone else but myself, I'm doing myself a disservice. So I'm not gonna say and compare myself to you. I'm not gonna compare my walk of life, even though we're both going down a similar path. We have right. different obstacles, different things we must do to yeah, overcome. Your, your uniqueness is not a weakness, man. Ah, say it again. That's a bar. That's a bar. <laughs> this guy's funny, but yeah, that's your, a bar. Your, your uniqueness is not a weakness, Man. so don't treat it as such. Come on, bro. So with that, and that's really what I'll be trying to go into. Back to back to your point about people, people, and their morals and stuff. Now, mm. I guess that goes with the mentality thing, though. Your mentality and what you perceive it is is. is is, is different. I mean, maybe it's because people are trying to be more free. People want to be everything. So woke is know, a trend now. That's right. man. Even though that's just the way you should be in general. Man, it should <laughs> be something that takes a lot of effort to do. It should just be you. But it's all about the. I guess it just the mentality is 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 everything because everybody's mentality is is different. It's the same. That's uh-huh. the problem. Everybody's uh-huh. mentality is the same. Well, not everybody, but majority because everybody wants to be what everybody else is. So there is no separating this person from this person. If stocks is the trend, everybody's finna trade stocks. So therefore what's what what's the difference between A's mentality and X's mentality? Nothing. They both trying to get to the same goal. I want to trade these stocks so I can get this. But if if we all okay stocks are cool but that's not my lane. Yeah. People don't think like because he made ten thousand dollars stocks. I'm finna go make ten thousand dollars stocks. But now you're five thousand in debt trying to chase a dream that somebody else had. Mm. Instead of saying, "Okay, boom, he made ten thousand stocks," but let me go make ten thousand selling books. Yeah, it's, it's not it's, hard, man. You going go, pick it back off the mentality thing, right? right? When you that's something that people don't really know. Like, but I feel like that goes back to knowing yourself, right? Like your mentality and how strong your mental is. Is it shows a reflection of who you are, right? If you have a weak mentality, you're a weak person. There, I, there's no other way for me to sugarcoat that because you're you're following somebody else and you're allowing somebody else to control your actions and dictate your actions right. because you don't have the mental strength to do it yourself. Just like I understand the, the, the whole thing about Kobe mentality, yeah. But you're following another man's blueprint step for step. You can take what what a part of what he did and, and integrate it into what you got going on, but don't say Kobe mentality try to use it but knowing that you can't live up to that mentality crazy you said that bro because I want to say and one of my coaches right I don't think he he unconsciously didn't mean it in this way but his words meant it and I and his actions showed it right so he he meant it but he tried to not mean it if that makes sense right you know so he was like why are you always smiling when you're playing football which made me think as a kid should I not be smiling yeah so I tried to be angry and be mad and be serious before a game, like straight face shit. Yeah. Mm. Hey, man, if y'all can see my face, I'm trying to really mean mug. Yeah, that shit, no, it look kind of crazy, but 
It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Hey man, so I'm really trying to mean mug and, and get myself mad. I'm trying yeah. to think of anything that made me mad. I'm trying to, yeah, yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. I just couldn't do that. Me, I'm, I'm real relaxed. I'm real low key. I'm really just vibing. I'm always happy when I'm yeah. on the field. I'm, I got a bounce in my stuff. I, I, I move. I move different. People can tell you when you watch me on film. When I, when I make a play, man, I'm real basic. I'm appreciate you. I'm, I'm all about this. Ah, I'm good. Yeah. You know, I, I got a little pep in my I'm happy. I'm See, happy. That's, I'm enjoying the game. Like you said, that's a thing that comes with our generation or the generation after us is that we celebrate everything on the field or on the court. Everything. You don't have to celebrate making a tackle. Feel me? That's your job. Feel me? You're on man. the line to make a tackle. Feel me? You shouldn't be celebrated for making a jumper. You're a guard who's job is specifically to make threes. What are you celebrating for? Yeah. Celebrate the win. Don't celebrate a specific play. That's it's crazy. Yeah, man. And and that go back and forth because I, I had a coach like that, man. We, we so you touched on it. I had a coach that was like, you know, you you gotta celebrate. You know, when you make a play, celebrate, celebrate. But in my head I never could. Like it was never some cause I, that was my mindset. I said, bro, I'm supposed to do this. Right. Like I am supposed to make the tackle. If I don't make a tackle, I'm not playing in right. this game. I'm not on the field. I want more than one person to answer me this. Do you think you exert more energy playing hard all game or celebrating after every play? <laughs> like, realistically, you're doing extra after every play you make that's going to take away from the next the next play that you have to make. Yeah. Not Instead of just playing hard the whole, whole way through the game, end of the game, now I can celebrate. Let's get it. And there's different ways to celebrate. You don't got to celebrate by getting hype. You can celebrate by, you feel me? This is my cheat day today. I had a hella good game. Now I'm finna go, finna eat a cake. <laughs> like that simple stuff. Or I'm finna go get in the pool. Yeah. Stuff that you, man, but that's what it came down to. When, right. Like I said, when, when he asked me why, why I was smiling, bro, I get on that field, man. I know a player, right? He listened to this, bro, going to make him laugh, bro. There's a player on my on my college football team who was mad. Right. right? It was me and the two on me. We, we losing. Like, they, they didn't you from it. They said, take a knee, we're done. Right. So, I'll be sitting on the other side. He talking to the other dude. Man, who y'all play next week? Woo, woo. He said, man, this is what's what, a linebacker pick. Yeah. This is your problem. Y'all talking to these boys and we done lost? I'm like, dang. I mean, that L is still there, bro. Well, I don't talk to this person or not. This L is still here, bro. We done took an L. I'm not going to get mad at bro for playing. You beat us. Yeah. It's tough. Good game. Salute you. Good luck next week. <laughs> Wish us luck next week. We can yeah. go get back and come back, man, because I can't be mad on it. Man, listen, man. I... I, I realize now when I cried after my senior my high school senior football game we went to the playoffs we lost first round right I, I cried reason why I cried though because I know I didn't do everything I could I missed plays I missed tackles right I only had one tackle that game I was mad at myself I didn't produce right. I looked at my sisters and I said bro I, I really feel like I felt them right and they maybe felt you know they, they was like bro you're good you know but that was the truth that was you really, felt yourself at yeah that moment. that's what you felt like come on like so. I was mad at that. Right. When I bought, man, when we lost Super Bowl at Little League, but I, I done played guard, center. I done played both guards, right and left. I done right. played center. I done played tackle. I done played BM, D tackle, nose. So I, don't, I was playing seven minutes percent in the Super Bowl. Yeah. And we lost. I didn't shed not one tear. Right. Because I did everything I absolutely could to win this game, and I, I, we lost. Tough. You know the way of putting it? Your, your tears represented the sweat that you didn't use. You keep talking. I'm right there the quote. I'm right there. You said your tears represent the sweat you didn't use. Yeah, that's a that's a that's one of the quotes. In that instance, because you said you put it all on the field in one game, and you didn't cry, but the, the game that you didn't put it all on the field, you, you feel me? And you, and you used the tears as, as, as sweat. You didn't use. Yeah. But yeah what a, what about the change? What needs to go about making a change in a different direction? Because the change that I see is kind of negative, but you also see positives. Man, it, the change, and I tell everybody this, change is painful. Right. And this goes to, to testament on how Why I is am as a person. Why Ch- is that change is painful because when you're when you're changing something, it, I'm talking about internal. I'm talking about when you're changing yourself and right. how you are. It's painful because you have to look at yourself and point out your fault. Like, so now you're talking, instead of somebody else telling you, yeah. like, this is what's wrong with you and this and that, and they're talking about you, you're telling yourself, you have to, that's why 
what people talk about me, it doesn't hurt me because I have said everything to myself. Right. I have talked crazy to myself. I have literally mentally tore myself down to a point where if somebody want to say depression, yeah, I want to use that word. I don't, I don't think I was depressed, but I was very, very upset because right. I tore down all of that and my flaws. But I built myself back up piece by piece, brick by brick, layer by layer. Right. And now I'm the person I am today. And now I'm stronger because of that. So change hurts because you're pointing out your flaw. And you have to you have to tell yourself that. You have right. to admit to yourself that you're not this high and mighty person. You can pretend it. You can go on social media and flex with this car. They don't know that you that you don't took out a loan and now you're in debt for the car. Right. But you can flex about it. But you have to look at yourself in the mirror and say, man, but wait, I really did that. You know, so like why did I, why did I do that? You know, there's time I look at myself in the mirror like, bro, you you thought you was this? Right. Man, if only they knew what you did at the, in the, at this time. If only they knew what you did behind these closed doors, bro, right. you wouldn't they wouldn't be cool with you, Richard. <laughs> well, it's not. They wouldn't be cool with you, Richard. Yeah. They would they you wouldn't have these friends if they knew it. Right. So you you got to talk to yourself and you like, man, like I'm not that. I'm not this person. Right. So then you you get into that mindset like, oh, man, I really got to got to get going. I got to got to change. Mm-hmm. Because now you don't want that. Because now, I only can speak for myself. When I tore down myself, I had to tell myself, like, bro, yeah, I, you got to change. Right. Because if I don't, I'm going to end up doing something that, like, that, the stuff I was afraid of will come to life. Because it happened because of flaws. So I had to attack those. Right. I had to. I had to go at them. And I'm like, man, bro, you know, the prime example, bro, I, I have no, nothing to hide. I had to change the way I talked. Right. I was cursing every sentence when I was younger because I thought cursing was cool. That was lame. That, that, that was that was unnecessary. Right. Find a better way to. Uh, so many more words. Come on, that I was sagging called the follower. Right. I, and all the rappers was sagging, uh, so I was sagging too. Forget it. Didn't really care about it. I had changed my mentality. How I looked at women. Right. That was a, that was a tough one. I looked at women as objects. I looked at them only as body. You know what I'm saying? I I used to watch porn. That's what programmed to go. Everything you about women were programmed that way. Because so, that's how that's how our elders view women, and we'll never get anywhere if we view them how our elders do. Yeah, bro. So I I had to stop doing that. I had to really look at myself like, bro, this is a this is a person, right? This is not an ob. This is not a, a thing you own. This is a human being, just like you. There were things I had to really tell myself, bro. Like, come on, bro, you're better than this, right? I know you are because I'm looking at it and I feel myself. And when I really think about it, I'm like, how would I feel? It's why I looked at my dukes like that. I was like, talking right. to my like that. Once I really started to see how I, how I would feel, I said, bro, there's got to be a change. So I had to talk to myself. Nobody had to tell me that. Right. I had to tell myself that. And girls probably didn't know I looked at them like that. Right. They probably thought I viewed them as a beautiful angel and queen. I did not. Right. I did not look at you as nothing else but an object that I could put my thing in. Right. Now I've grown as a man, as a person. And now I'm like, yo, bro, I can't. I, I came now. Real stuff, bro. I can't even just look down at a girl's ass no more. Like I used to. Be, that was the only thing I would focus on. Yeah. Now I have. I look at your face. I look at your eye. I want to see your face spread. I want to. I want to see your body movement. I want to see are, are your arms folded? Or are they not? Right. Are, are you closed off? Are you open? Are you distant? I need. Are you introvert, extrovert? I'm right. looking at everything else. There's nothing about your body that that even intrigues me anymore like that. Most definitely, I'm not saying like if you have a body, obviously it's not gonna know. Obviously it's gonna be there. But that's not my first thing no more. I'm looking at you as a person. I'm looking at your soul. If I, right. if that, if how deep I'm trying to get into it. So I'm, I mean, with you, with you, with what you're saying, why do you think it's important now for everybody trying to be fit? Why? What? What does that change for me? Because it, it used to be a point where it was. I was in school and I remember I was the teacher was talking about it was some I don't know why the subject was was was, was talked about but she was talking about how obesity is at an all time high in America or in the world I'm not sure which one but I'm pretty sure it was America and now it's everybody's trying to get fit everybody's trying to lose weight everybody's trying to look this way again it goes back to the people you're looking up to you're looking at these at for females I know because a female told me this English she used to look at other females and models and like damn I wish I could be this body, be this thing. Right behind the scene, this model is starving herself. Right, she is, she is, the, she is eating and throwing it up. Like, gee, she's faking it. Right, like, but we don't know that. It's the image we're portraying. Same thing with dudes. You, you want to be this ripped guy with so many definitions in a twelve pack? You don't know the guy over here is shooting up roids. Big steroids. <laughs> like, 
So you're you're comparing your hard work that you're putting in, and you're comparing somebody that's cheating it. You know what I'm saying? So, but you're also doing it in a way that's not meant for your body though, because shooting up steroids is good for weights. I mean, if you want to naturally be cut, calisthenics is the way to go. Yeah. But people just okay, weights get me bigger. But then you don't you look the same. You just bigger. You feel me? You don't have no definition. <laughs> what you say? Oh. <laughs> it's like what? What's really going on? I would say Hulk smash. Yeah, but you're not. You're not looking like Hulk though. <laughs> I'll be the upside down triangle game. Wow. No I, leg day. <laughs> no leg day, no bro. Legs. I mean, just big and then just. Phew, like. but, hey, back to back to what I said about the stock because I don't want. I had. I was thinking about this the whole time. I don't want it to get misinterpreted that the certain trends aren't are bad because all trends are not bad. Yeah, for no. me, going into stocks is a good thing because that that can that can um, profit everybody. Yeah, and with also anything else that makes money. But if you're doing stuff like the crate challenge, that don't benefit you at all. It may get <laughs> you some followers, but your followers are gonna want you to continue doing stupid stuff. No, like they they want you to stay at that low that low area, that low right. vibration, and you don't want to elevate me. So again, like picking back up you just because I feel like that was, that's something that. It had to be said two times, right? Because to, to double back for people that didn't hear it in the back, where it's like all trends are not bad, right? Some trends are like the woke trend. Hear me, that's not a bad thing. It's just people are ODing on it. The way you go about it, yeah. Because you're saying you're woke. Because you're saying that's a water bottle. You ain't really know this was made in Africa. Yeah. When when when, when, when all that pollution was in there. They woke. You think you're really getting water? It's not. But boom, I gave a, a black homeless man a dollar. Now I'm BLM movement. Mm. Okay. <laughs> like, I guess. You know, it's like this, like the woke trail or something. I was like, I'm glad people are, are asking questions and, and want to, you know, get out of this right. matrix is, is the way I, you could call it to give everybody a good perspective. Right. But the way you're going about it, you're you're trying to make everything seem woke when, bro, you're you're doing regular stuff. Right. Or, or at least to us, I would say that. Or at least especially to me, like I've been focusing on myself and trying to become. I don't, I don't like using the word woke anymore. How much has been you, but right. uh, an enlightened individual. Right. To where now some of the stuff I'm like, yo, this is not even. This yeah, I'm cool. I could get your two claps. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm glad you're asking the question. You're on, you're on the right path. Keep going. Right. You know, but you're you're trying to sit. And then the people that are trying to become woke, they're not are talking down on people that are not woke. Right. And it's like, that's not... I think yeah, I, th- I think J. Cole made a song like that. Um, right. You know, on his album, he was telling this girl because she was talking down about somebody. And, she was, and he was like, why are, you, why are you doing that? Obviously, he doesn't know what you're talking about. So right. enlighten him. Give him the game. Right. And help and have him use it. Don't talk about somebody because they, they're now on the level you are. That That's very... Ignorant of you. If, if if we all, cause I, I know a lot of people probably don't know what what this uh what this is, but the Ubuntu, it's it's basically it's a it's a us, not a me. For me, it's an inclusion thing, but in a positive way. Like you, you, everybody wants to get to one common goal, or everybody wants everybody to be on the same platform. So let's make it a us thing, not a me thing. Cause if I'm only trying to improve me, I'm I'm taking away from somebody else. Man, the the very like one of my last thing I want to really harp on because I talked about it. Man, you and y'all most definitely hear me talk about it even more. Right, the social media clan. Right, because I wanted to value how important that was. And you, you, you can go as hard as I did. You can not go as hard as I did. Whatever suits you. All right, this is what I did personally. I deleted everything that involved social media. Right, which meant Twitter, Snap, IG, ESPN, ESPN yeah. Tinder. Uh, everything, right. anything that involved the, the outside world, I did not want on my phone. I did not want to know anything that happened on the outside world. I did not care for anything that happened on the outside world. Right. The only thing I had, I deleted group me. The only reason, and and I, I eventually added group me back. That was the only way my boss could get a contact with me for right. big news. But even then, I didn't even want to get on group me. You know, it was a lot of things that I took off because I wanted to truly and solely focus on myself and know what what is Richard. What is Richard want? Right. Who is Richard? Not and you know, cause I have this big type of thing where I feel like I have two personalities right. at one point in time. It was Richard and Snack. Richard was more serious, Snack was more goofy. 
He was the funny one, the one that would go out. You want to party with him? Cool. Richard was real serious. You want to have intellectual conversation? You're talking to Richard. Right. Now, I don't see a difference no more. Right. That those are the same people. They are doing the same thing. There, you just meet you. You're just the situation is different. I always thought it was different personality. I always thought I had to flip between Richard and Snap. Right. When when to be Richard, when to be Snap. Now, that's who I am. That's right. no difference. Snacks is snacks. Richard is Richard. Richard is snacks. Snacks is Richard. That's right. What, same people. You feel me? So now, with that social media cleanse, it showed me that it made me understand that these aren't two different people. These are the same person. You know, I got that from um, Limitless, the TV show on Netflix. I don't think it's on Netflix no more, but the dude popped a pill and he became a smart person. Right. You know, it felt like that. But in one of the episodes, he was talking to a girl and he was like, oh, I don't know if she likes me because I'm on NZT. Oh, that was the pill name. Right. I don't know if, if she likes me because I'm on NZT when I talk to her or is because if she likes me who I am. And the person in the show was like, uh, NZT Brian and regular Brian are the same person. Right. The only difference is what can you do? Because with NZT, you can do everything. You know, type, play music, all that. Right. right. So I have to learn that. Snacks and Richard are the same people. It's just what I'm doing. Right. I chose myself to make Snacks the funny person and goofy and, and one to bad. I made Richard to be the serious, stern, intellectual person. I can be that with both of them. Right. That's social, but social media claim is important, man. I... Like I said, you go as hard as you want to with me. If you want to, if you or go as hard as you want to as me, which is either delete everything off your phone, you know, or you can, you know, take you don't have to delete everything. You just log off from everything, right? Or take your time. You may not want to delete everything. You may just want to take an hour out of your day, or thirty minutes, however long you can go at first, you know, without looking at social media. Right. Take time to meditate or read or whatever case you want to do. But it's what starts with you. Me, I did that. I mean, you have to start first with, with knowing how to turn your phone off before you go to sleep so you don't wake up to notifications. Because once you simply do that, you wake up and get everything that you need to get out the way first. With, without, okay, let me look at my phone because it's off. There's nothing to look at at that point. Yeah. But, uh... I think I hit my point. I want I really want to hop on that social media claim because I felt like people... Because that's like another trend that people are trying to do. Right. It's like when people want to text, like or people want to, I don't, you don't have Snap like that. But people get on Snap, they'll be like, oh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm walking off. Right. Don't, don't text me or you need me to hit my, hit my number. I didn't do that. Right. <laughs> I left. <laughs> yeah. If you if you needed me, you would hit, not, you would hit me You're not up. leaving at that point. All you're doing is just transferring Snap to your to your messages. Yeah. You're still talking to everybody. I mean, I'm, I naturally social media cleanse. That's just a part of who I am. I don't need social because there's so much that goes on in regular life if you just pay attention that it, it substitute everything. Nah, that's a finny, bro. Like I said, G, whatever y'all want to do, we always say this. Follow the socials. Yeah, Instagram. <laughs> We're talking about social media claims. What's the, what's the Instagram, man? Man, the, I, the IG is BTE underscore movement. You hear me? You hear me? Okay. Sir, same thing with TikTok. BTE underscore movement. The Twitter. BTE movement. There is no underscore. There's BTE movement. And then last but not least, don't forget about the Clubhouse group, man. We need any and everybody that can join so we can have good conversations. Come on now. It's and open. It's open for anybody. Anybody can join. No no approvals. None of that. You just join. Feel me? When we go live, hop in there. Let's talk. But it's at, it's at being the evolution on, on Clubhouse. Just search in being space the space evolution it'll pop up as a club just hit join or or whatever how whatever you got to do to join that month just join it. you feel me you got to download the app i guess oh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I guess i guess people didn't understand if you don't know that clubhouse is the app yes uh, sir I, I, I don't know how it looks so it's, a, it's a black man on front a brother man ah right, there we go it is it is it is a brother man on front and he got he He's i think throwing he, up the sheets He's not a crypto. Uh, I think I think he's trying to do a half a heart. I think somebody's supposed to connect the heart. I think they're supposed to finish that. No, that's a C for Clubhouse, but it's okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, but it's, it's I, okay. I, I, I thought he was trying to connect the heart. <laughs> but with that being said, man, <laughs> check, man, checking out, man. Yo, I'm Snacks out.